This video will walk you through replacing the batteries in real-time RF expert log data loggers. Please note that the process is very similar with other expert log wireless data loggers. Here are the tools needed to replace the batteries. Place one plier on the upper part of the logger and hold tightly. Use the second plier to open up the logger. Hold both tools tightly and rotate counterclockwise. After both parts of the logger have been dislodged, you may unscrew the bottom part of the logger by hand in order to speed up the process. Remove the clips and pull out the batteries with the tweezers. Please be sure to dispose of the batteries responsibly by contacting local waste management authorities. Avoid disposing of the batteries in the trash or recycling bins. Once you've pulled out the batteries from the logger, Twist the legs with the tweezers to avoid reusing the batteries. Battery depassivation is a very important step in the process. You may do this by holding the battery with three fingers and the legs up while physically tapping and rubbing the battery against a hard surface for about 15 seconds. You may now place the new batteries inside the logger. It is easier to align the two negative pins first and then the positive pin. If needed, you may use the tweezers to set the battery in place. Verify that the battery pins are placed inside the sockets before pushing down on the battery firmly in order to ensure good contact. This will help avoid damaging the battery pins. Place the safety clips back and make sure that the back of the clip is touching the negative end of the battery. Remove the O-rings using the tweezers. Grease the new O-rings before placing them into position. After the O-rings are replaced, go ahead and grease up the thread and be sure to use extra grease to cover the O-rings also. You may clean your hands of grease at this point. Begin closing the logger by holding the upper part with the pliers and the bottom part with your hands and twist the logger shut. Use a second plier to tighten up the logger, but not excessively, and clean the logger of any excess grease. A short test should now be performed to ensure the battery was depassivated and the pins were inserted into the logger correctly. If you have any further questions, please feel free to contact your local LIVES International representative by visiting www.lives-international.com forward slash contacts dot html. Thank you for watching the video.